As requested in this video, I'm going to show you the simple setup if you would like to record a song using a Focusrite with a background music or instrument or minus one or background music coming from uh, YouTube uh, songs. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things that we'll be needing in the setup. First of all, this is the Focusrite. I have the 2i2 third gen. If you have a solo, don't worry. You are still able to do the same uh, setup. I'll show you in a little bit. And this iPhone here, this is the phone I will be uh, using to record a song. I will be using a GarageBand application. So for iPhone user, you should have uh, a GarageBand application. Just open it and then uh, uh, you can follow the steps that I will be uh, showing you in a bit and um, this uh, iPad here this would be the source of my background music or karaoke song from YouTube if you have a tablet you can use also or another device it could be an Android device or it could be a laptop and uh, this uh, phone here this is a condenser microphone a microphone from Mono for those of you who are not aware Mono carries lots of equipment for uh, for podcasting recording or streaming and more gadgets and I'll be linking at the bottom I do have a discount code if you want to use it there is no additional cost to you if you use that code you will get a 10% off from that and I will be using an earphone to monitor the audio and I will be using an adapter this is 6.35 millimeter jack male to 3.5 millimeter female and this uh, one here I'm going to be using this one for iPhone user so this is just lightning too so make sure the one that has a camera on it so this is the one we needed the one that has camera and the lightning over there and uh, I will be uh, using also a lightning uh, cord so USB to lightning and uh, I will just be using a portable uh, charger if you want to, to use uh, a block uh, to to plug it on your wall or wherever, uh, up any power source, then you can use that as well if you don't have a portable charger. Simply uh, connect one end uh, to here and then this one you can connect to whatever power source you have at your uh, place. And also, if you get a focus right, normally it comes with uh, this one. So this is USB uh, type C to USB type A. So I always uh, connect it to here, so <laughs> I won't lost it. Okay, and now let's start the connections. So first of all, let's connect uh, the uh, condenser microphone. Okay, so it's very self-explanatory. Connect to this one here. And then let's connect this one to here. I'm just going to use uh, the mic uh, one. To this adapter, we will connect this one to here for the headphone. And then from that, we will connect this earphone to that. Okay, so something like that. Okay, so I'm going to connect this one uh, to here. There you go. And now I'm going to connect one end from here. I'm going to connect this one to here to the one for a camera okay there you go and then I'm going to connect uh, this one to here as you notice it is blinking because there's not enough of power to power up your focus right so I will connect this other end to here to the one for lightning lightning port the other end I will connect it to here to this portable charger to here and then I make sure it's power up so as you notice it's not blinking anymore and now to connect the background music to your Focusrite, you need another one of this. So again, this is 6.35 millimeter uh, uh, male to 3.5 millimeter uh, female. Okay, so we will connect this one this time to here, to the next, uh, like another port for microphone. You can also connect uh, instrument to here, like guitar or keyboard or whatever you want. So we will connect one of that and we will use one of these. So this is TRRS. If you have a TRS, the one that has two lines, that works as well. Okay, so we will connect this one to here and then the other one we will connect to the headphone port of this, uh, of this iPad. So again, if it is a, a tablet or another device, just connect, locate the headphone port of that and then connect it to the 
uh, another port here for the microphone. As you notice over here, there are two separate volume control for the microphone, as well as the other uh, one over here, whether you connected another microphone or background music or guitar. Okay, and now I think we're all set. From here, so we will be opening the GarageBand. And from here, we'll tap uh, Create Song. Okay, and from here, we will select Voice. Okay, there you go. So you will see something like this. So from here, make sure to turn on monitoring so you can hear also from your earphone or headphone. Okay, so we will turn this on. Okay, something like that. And uh, now, as you can see over here, if I'm going to go closer, as you can see, uh, it's detecting now the microphone. And by the way, if you're using a condenser microphone, do not forget to turn this on, otherwise it will not work. If it's a dynamic microphone, you don't need to turn this on. And again, your background music control is from this uh, device or from here. So this uh, mic 2 for the mic 2 port. And your mic volume control is uh, from here for the gain or volume knob number 1. Okay, so uh, from here, so if you are on here, since we will be recording both the background music from this uh, uh, number two port over here and the number one for the microphone, so we will recording both. From here, do not forget to tap this corner over here, the one that says channel one. Okay, so if this, so from here, if you only selected one, that means it will only record uh, whatever is connected to the uh, number one port here. So it will only record the, the vocals. Now, now if, if you, you also, also tap, tap only number two, then it will only record whatever is connected to the port number two. So what we will do is make sure to tap the, the stereo. stereo. So in this way, you are recording both whatever is connected to port one and port two. Okay, so now we're good at there. Now let's uh, tap this one here, so the middle. Okay, so from this track, this is the track we will be recording both the, the uh, microphone or our vocals plus the background music over there. Now to add effects to the vocals, uh, we will tap this one here. Okay, and then we will scroll up. And then you will see this one, echo and uh, reverb. So what we will do is we will add reverb to our vocals, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four, and then let's add also echo a little bit. And if you add more, let's say you add too much, then simply just, uh, just uh, you can slide it, slide something it, like slide, that. Slide. Okay, sound check, okay, testing sound one, two. Okay, I think it's too much, so let's uh, lower it a bit. There you go, sound check. And maybe let's, uh, okay, there you go, sound check. And over here, the bass, it's up to you if you wanna add a bass. So simply slide it to the right, something like that. And then treble, if you want more treble or less a treble. So it's all up to you, something like that. Okay, and let's say for example, we're good at this. So again, as you can see, my gain uh, control here for the microphone is about, uh, Okay, I'll set it at 11 o'clock and then also 11 o'clock for the background music and plus, as I mentioned earlier, you can control the volume of the background music from this device, whatever is the source. It's up to you if you want to increase your compressor over here or no. Okay, so let's say, for example, we are good at this, then we will top that again. Or it's up to you if you want to tap it or no. If you don't uh, tap that again, this is simply to close this side over here. Okay, so something like that. If you don't want to close it, it's fine. Then let's now go ahead and tap record. Okay, I'm gonna, so this one is ready. And okay, let's uh, hit record over here. And uh, from here, do not forget to turn off the metronome if you don't want to keep hearing that sound, tuk, 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 something like that. Okay, so I will uh, turn it off, there you go. And when you are recording, if it's your first time to do it, make sure to tap the plus icon over here on this corner. And just make sure uh, from here, section A8 bars, make sure it is set to automatic, otherwise uh, it will not, uh, your song will be cut off. On that eight bars, it will stop. You, it will not record anymore. So make sure it's set to automatic, so it will record however long is your music. Okay, now it's set to automatic. Let's uh, go back and let's just tap anywhere and it will close. There you go, I think we're all ready to record. 
And uh, okay, so monitoring is here, also is on, so you can hear it yourself from using the headphone or earphone. And just so you know, this volume knob over here doesn't affect on your recording because this is just if you connected an external speaker from the back of this uh, Focusrite. So if this is high or low, it does not affect at all. And this one here, this is just for you to monitor your audio, and this does not affect also on your recording. Okay, let's now uh, start recording. Not simple to say that most days I don't recognize me and these shoes and this apron that place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, it does work. And from here, you can still adjust uh, the, uh, the, the reverb or echo of your song. Okay, let's listen to the one we recorded. So what you will do is tap this line here, the one in the middle. Okay, and uh, okay, let's uh, close out this side here. Okay, let's play it. Simple to say that most days I don't recognize me that these shoes and this apron, that place and its patrons have taken. Okay, there you go. Now, if you want to add, uh, let's say, a reverberation, so again, let's go back here and let's see if the background music will be affected. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's say, for example, you want to add more echo. So simply do that. And let's say if we're going to add more reverberation, Okay, there you go. And let's uh, try to play that uh, again, the one we recorded. Okay, let's play. Simple to say that most days I don't recognize... Okay, so I think the echo is uh, too much, so we have to lower the echo. There you go. Let's uh, play it again. And these shoes and this apron That place and its patrons Have taken more there you go. So you can still adjust the reverberation or echo before you convert the file into an mp3 file. So in this setup, we are just recording the audio or we're just recording the audio for a song. We're not recording a video, so it's up to you if you want to record a video. I suggest just set up maybe a camera wherever you wanted it to be. And then once this one is, is done, just combine your, your video and this audio and to make it a song cover. Now, once you're finished recording, what you will do is tap this arrow down over here and then tap that one, the one that says my songs. There you go. So from here, I renamed it already to testing. So it's up to you. You can rename it as you like. What you will do is just tap this one here and this option should pop up and then uh, tap uh, rename if you want to rename it as you like. And let's say, for example, you, that that's all good. Now to convert this uh, file into an MP3 file so that you can you can upload it or maybe you want to uh, combine the video you recorded to this audio you recorded. So we will convert this to an MP3 file. So for that, just tap and hold that again. You will see this option again. Scroll up, look for the one that says share. Okay, and now from here, we have to select song. Okay, and from here, just tap share. And from here, it's up to you wherever you want to keep it. I normally saved it to voice and memo. So I'm saving it to voice and memo right now. Okay, and from here, you can still rename it or whatever you like and then hit save. Okay, and it should now be in your, it should now be in your voice and memo. If you go to your voice memo, so it's right there, so it should be the very top over there, so the one that says uh, testing. And if you play that, that should be the mp3 file of the, the song you just recorded. So you can play it if you like. It's not simple to say. There you go. Most days, 
I don't recognize me. This is now your mp3 file. You can upload this one to wherever you like. Or if you just uh, recorded a video, uh, it's like a, like a movie type of thing, uh, whatever you did, uh, you can combine that to this and then you can, you can upload that to your YouTube channel. I think this is the simplest way in recording a song using a Focusrite with a GarageBand and plus the background music coming from uh, YouTube. And that is all I can share for today. I hope this video gives you an idea on how to record a song using your Focusrite with a GarageBand application using an iPhone with a background music or a karaoke song coming from uh, YouTube. Thanks again guys for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of video, so consider subscribing if you haven't done yet. And hit the notification bell so you're always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.